So today is day 65. Um, I'm still at the quarterway in. I did uh, just under 10 miles, I think 9.7 slap packing yesterday. And today I'm taking a zero, but I'm moving forward to the next hostel. Um, but I won't be hiking. I'm kind of shuttling there with some folks who are going there too. Um, and then I'll figure out the logistics after that. But I'm just kind of hanging out until I go to the next place. And this is so gorgeous. It's rained mm, quite a bit this morning, but not too, not too bad. But this is so beautiful, the way the clouds come down. And, um, cover the mountains. It's one of my favorite views of mountains. Cows on the move in the meadow across from Quarterway Inn. <laughs> I am now at Burke's Garden Hostel. Um, I did my slap pack yesterday, so I just had them pick me up today. And I shuttled here. Look at this, we're in Burke's Garden. It's um, a natural sinkhole in Virginia, apparently. You know, that's whoever, however many millions of years old, don't know, but isn't this gorgeous? And it's a little chilly today. One of the reasons I didn't hike today was because of the rain, and you can see there's been a lot of rain, but this is so cool. This is a Amish-built home. I think he said 1990? Not 1890, 1990. And then there's the barn, and that's the hostel part. And then here's another like barn with granary kind of thing. And they're not using that part yet, but the bunkhouse, hello baby. The bunkhouse is in this little barn and it's really <laughs> incredible. I'm saying that some of the best hostels, I just cannot get over how good some of these hostels are. Um, and I think the bunk's only $35 an hour. I have to double check. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's the hostel. This is the little store that you can go into and get resupplies. And they have really good resupply food. Um, and then this is the hostel. Hi, Happy Feet. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is the common area with the kitchen. You come upstairs. And this is where the, I'm using air quotes, bunks are, which I'm so excited that they're not actual bunks. And it looks like they have memory foam beds. How cool is that? And then you have a couple of couches, there's a table here, there's games and, you know, the beds. There's the bed I chose. And then you have these great views. I mean, I'll be laying in bed and be able to see um, the mountains. It's really cool. It's not the best on camera, but anyway. It's a very, very nice hostel. And uh, I'm really enjoying it so far.
This is so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm doing a six mile slap pack today and I'm starting where I left off or where I started the other day, but I'm going to move northbound now. Um, and then I'll be back at the hostel, um, Burke's Garden Hostel tonight. And then tomorrow I'll pack out with my full pack. So, I'll do some more filming later. See ya. Well, here's the trail this morning. It's a little cloudier than I thought it was going to be. But hopefully it's not going to rain. But if it does, I'm only slap packing six miles today. But here's what I just did. So I had been, I don't know, backpacking maybe. 10 or 15 minutes and needed to go to the bathroom. So I stopped, took off my pack, went to the bathroom, ate a snack, like a meat and cheese because all I had was like three quarters of a waffle for breakfast. I started back on a trail. And then I noticed, I'm going downhill. I really thought the trail was all uphill in this first section. But I was like, okay, well, sometimes the trail goes down, even when it's in a big up section. So I kept going. And then I'm like, oh, there's a road. And then I went, wait a minute. Yep, sure enough, I turned around and hiked back to where I started. So that was unfortunate. But, oh, well. I'm going the right direction again. I just got turned around when I stopped for that bathroom and uh, snack break. Lesson learned, pay better attention. Hello. <laughs> anyway, keeping on, keeping on. Okay, I'm coming out of the green tunnel, I think on my slap pack today and i think i'm getting close to the top or it's not really the top i shouldn't say that um there's like a couple of miles of meadows apparently and i think some of the meadows still going up um and then i think some of it's going down not sure uh but yeah i'm coming out into a meadow right now and I'm just not sure at this point. It doesn't look like this is the one that's the couple of miles though. So maybe it's just a little taste of what's to come. Anyway, it's been a relatively easy hike this morning. I don't have a full pack. Um, unfortunately, I did not eat enough breakfast. So I've been struggling a little bit with that. It's so important to make sure that you're fueling your body. And for me, that means I have to make sure I eat a really hearty and good breakfast. And if I don't, I'm really struggling the first part of the day and having to stop often and eat snacks and that kind of thing. So just a little pointer. I mean, some people don't seem to need it so much in the mornings. But I do. I, if I've got my morning started off correctly with coffee, my med, of course, I take a thyroid medication, and um, then um, plenty of food that includes some protein. So, like when I'm on trail, often I'll cook oatmeal and put peanut butter in it. Um, and then I'll have my little protein drink as well, uh, and my coffee. 
but this morning I had three quarters of a waffle and that was it before I left um, and that was just not enough uh, so uh, note to self don't do that again at least today I'm slap packing and the terrain is not horrible so you know it's not that big of a deal but that's just a good reminder for me that when I'm on trail you know to make sure I'm eating good breakfast I'm not sure you can tell but there's a pond back here back there so that's cool um, and then there's supposedly a water source up here um, I've drunk probably a liter of water this morning and I'm trying to decide I still have maybe two-thirds of a liter left so I'm trying to decide on such a short day as today's gonna be if I need more water so I'm not sure um, but we'll see all right do I want to go down here and look at the water source I'll let you know later what I decided but here's a sign so there's apparently a spring down this way which would be great and then the AT of course continues on up here so I don't know I might go check out the spring we'll see a little view of the meadow and I guess that's the valley below back there I'm not really sure if that's Burke's garden or not it's a little too soon I think for me to be able to tell for sure but look oh, gorgeous just outstanding so I'm up on the top of a ridge and this to me looks like Burke's garden um, again I'm not 100% sure that that's what it is but based on the aerial pictures that I saw of it, that really does look like it could be it, which is so amazing. I love it. Okay, well, came out of that nice meadow that was on top or high up on the mountain. And now come into this rock bed here. I, I'm not sure how far it goes. I do know that some of the folks who did uh, this section yesterday talked about how rocky it is. So, fun times. Whoop, whoop. Coming up on a really cool shelter, which I am not staying at because I'm at Burke's Garden Hostel. Wow, it's really cool. Okay, so at this Chestnut Knob Shelter, I believe is the name of it, this is where you can see Burke's Garden down below. Isn't that amazing? Burke's Garden um, used to be the top of a mountain, I guess. And then the mountain over the, you know, millions of years or whatever, caved in on itself. And so all of this around here is Burke's Garden, and it's the valley that came out of that mountain collapsing in on itself. It's gorgeous. It's where the hostel is, and I, oh, 
I just think it's beautiful and amazing. Okay, I just came, you can see the white blaze. I just came from up here and came down. And if I were standing on the AT to right now, I'd cross this little road and keep going up that way. But this is the road that takes me to Burke's Garden Hostel. So I love that they have this sign. It's so easy to um, see which way to go. And so I finished my 18 miles for the day, but I still have a half a mile that I have to walk to get to Burke's Garden Hostel. And then tomorrow when I'm ready to leave, they give us a ride back to this spot, um, which is nice because I think it's mostly uphill. So that'll be cool. And so my slap pack on the AT part of the day is done. It was a beautiful day, but I just struggled. I didn't have enough food in my system this morning. So, but it was still a magnificent day. I'm not sure what these flowers are that are running by this little ditch here. Oh, there's a beautiful butterfly. I've seen a bunch today. But they're very fragrant. They smell beautiful. Um, so if any of you know what they are, please just tell me in the comments. Here's my nice little road walk. I'm already uh, off the like really rough kind of mountain road walk. Uh, it was back here and up to the left that was a dirt road and that should be uh, interesting to go back up tomorrow in the vehicle. I, there were ruts and things in there that were pretty rough it looks like for a vehicle, but this is what it looks like Hopefully not that much farther up the road to get to um, Burke's Garden Hostel. So, again, I've had a very good day as far as, I mean, look at this weather. You couldn't ask for better weather, and it was only in the 60s, so it was nice and cool, um, but not cold, and uh, no rain. So it was, it's just been a gorgeous day. So I'm glad I'm getting this little bit of slap pack in today so I can keep moving north from, uh, uh, you know, Burke's garden area. And uh, oh, uh, tomorrow I'm going to go 9.3 miles, I think, to a shelter unless for some reason I want to keep going or something like that. Um, okay. Look at those trees. Wow. <sighs> yep. Pastures, trees. See a lot of hay that's probably been mowed and um, hauled. And then, up here on the right, that's Burke's Garden Hostel from the road, from uh, coming north on the trail and then following the road down and to the hostel. Yay, I'm pretty hungry. So we'll see what I'm gonna eat when I get there. Unfortunately, it's not close to a town, so you can't just you know, go get a burger or something. Um, but other than that, I mean, I really think this is a great hostel. So I highly recommend it um, to folks who are staying at hostels. Little bunny outside the hostel. A 
I swear my silky terrier's ears are just as big. Hello, bunny. Something good Something good Is gonna come my way Come my way Hey, hey, hey Something good is gonna come my way There's a 